I'm gonna be honest, she only dates white people. Okay. But she rejected me too. Oh, yo, we got a gun. <laughs>Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Andrew from the Fung Brothers and I'm here in Los Angeles today to talk to college students about dating. I want to talk about ethnic people refusing to date their own ethnicity. Recently a discussion has been sparked by a clip of Asians saying they have a no Asian policy. Kind of have a no dating Asian sort of policy. You kind of look a bit like my brother. Oh. And I'm here at one of the most famous colleges on the West Coast to find out more about what's going on. And for this video, we partnered with East Me East, the number one Asian dating app. They now have over half a million members and are the number one Asian live streaming app in North America. So it's become a community of all Asians, whether you're single or not. On the live streaming app, you can see Asians from Australia, Europe to here, all doing their thing, playing music, playing games, even truth or dare. The community has grown fast, so definitely check out the link in the description box down below. But for now, let's see what these kids got to say about dating. Have you ever heard of an ethnic person or anybody refusing to date their own kind? Yes. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Sure. Never heard that before. I feel like I've heard friends say that. And yeah, I have. Definitely. I've met a few okay. friends who've done that. I've heard whispers of that from my friends, yeah. I've heard, but not to my face. One of my best friends, really, really ABG, she said she would never date an Asian guy. Um, my friend just generally states, like, she was like, never again, like, I only want to date white guys. A lot of my Asian friends are like, Asian girls don't want to date me. My Indian friend just won't date Indian guys. I know a couple of Asian girls who have explicitly said, I only date white guys. Definitely heard some of my Asian girlfriends definitely say sometimes, oh yeah, I don't really date Asian guys. I'm just kind of into white guys. Maybe they want something a little bit outside of their culture. Some might even think like, oh, maybe it's like dating someone from my family or- I want to be mistaken as you like brother and sister if you get awkward. I've definitely heard that more from like girls than guys. For sure. I've heard an Asian guy say that to me recently. He was Korean. And I never, I haven't like explicitly talked to her about this. She hasn't said it specifically, but she does have this string of like non-Asian dudes that she's okay. been dating. Okay. Like I, I just get the feeling like she doesn't really talk to that many Asian dudes, even though she is like half Chinese. How does that affect you being a full Asian guy and her being half Asian? and really not liking Asian guys. Yeah, honestly, it doesn't affect me too much. Do you think it's because you're like 6'2"? I mean, I, I definitely think that helps out a bit. Mostly white people because they don't want to date other white people. Guys and girls or mostly guys or mostly girls or what, what's the situation? I'd say mostly girls because things like that. Yeah, white guys right. being assholes. Oh. I like used to have that preference because I grew up in like a very white area. Now, more open. Biggest hater of Asian dudes is Asian girls. All right, why? Talking about this with my friend yesterday. She said she likes guys who are masculine, tall, like over six feet. And I'm like, well, Asian guys don't fit that, you know? So it's like, what are you supposed to do? You don't, you don't control that. One girl texted my girlfriend and saying like, yo, can you find me like a boyfriend? Not Asian. She said that Asian guys are bad at sex, I guess. Now that's f***ed up. It's actually a black African-American person. And they told me, you know what I'm saying, I don't want to date anybody African-American, which really shocked me. And she was so sweet with it, you know what I'm saying? I was like, you know what, girl, do your thing, you know what I'm saying? Because that's your preference. Because at the end of the day, everybody has their own preference. My parents are both Asian, but my mom grew up in, like, British Hong Kong. And my dad is from, like, Belgium, but he's, like, Asian. So they're more open to me, like, dating someone, like, of a different race. I mean, like, I didn't think I had a type, but, like, I figured out, like, be into, like, Asian guys. If oh, you yeah. are Asian and want to date Asian guys, oh, that is yeah. actually what we would like. <laughs> it was a white person who said that they would not date white people. Okay. Uh, okay, he bro. prefers to date Asian girls. Um, actually, my boyfriend was the one that said he never wanted to date an Asian girl, and then he met me. I consider myself very Korean American, so I think he found a little something in me. I don't know. A little, little extra swag there, yeah. yeah. I can see that, yeah. When a girl says that to a guy, or even a guy says that to a girl, like, what do you think? Do they not think it's offensive, or what are they thinking? I told him, like, that is offensive to me. When I do hear it, it's kind of just like a ouch it's not like they're trying to like offend that the race that they're you know trying to disassociate themselves with it's just like you know your surroundings play a big role in your view on things why do asian girls feel so comfortable saying that publicly that they don't date asian guys they're a lot of people fetishize them so they kind of have more options to and then i think asian guys they're less prone to say it it might be 
a sense of pride, if that makes sense. Girls like want to like I don't know appear not superior, but like oh like oh look cool, like I'm dating this like white guy. It kind of works two ways for for like black men and black women and Asian men and Asian women. Like the black man is like masculinized, like in turn the black women is kind of like deemed as lower. Asians as a whole are seen as like feminine, kind of pushes Asian women to the top, messing everything up for Asian men. I think there's a very deeply rooted racism, like intrinsic to like self-hatred, and so I'm sure that that's just like a natural response in the way that society is structured right now, especially in the US. I think it's one of those things where like, if someone else does it, it's fine for you to do it. So like if the other side's doing it, you're like, oh, why can I not do it? Because people view it as like, personal preference rather than like a racist like agenda in mind. Oh, you know, they're, they're like I me, mean, they're just brothers. It's not gonna hurt them, it doesn't really matter, like that's already expected. I think in some ways it's like ingrained like the idea of like dating up, like if we date white guys, like we're told that's like dating up. All right, ladies, have you ever heard of this website called East Meet East? It's actually the number one Asian dating site in America. I have not. I haven't. I have. I have not. <laughs> oh. Never. Is it something that you guys would use? I'm not trying to use dating apps, but if it comes down to it, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know, I just got to college. Maybe not right now. What if I told you it's not just for people who are trying to date, it's also just the number one Asian live streaming app in North America. Yeah, I'd, I'd be more down to it. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. I'd be open to it. It sounds pretty cool. If you're like lived in Arizona like I do, it's like no Asian people, so it'd be like cool to be, be able to like meet some Asian people. So. Attention pe Asian people in Arizona, check out East Me East. I've seen this clip. You have a no dating Asian sort of policy. You kind of look a bit like my brother. Oh. <laughs> Racist. Sheree, explain this red line. I'm sorry, I have a no dating Asian policy as well. <laughs> When it comes to something like the excuse of like, oh, I don't, like, this kind of feels like my brother or sister, do you think in some way there is some merit to it depending on how they grew up? I don't know, like when you see like two white people dating each other, like you don't think they're gonna be like a brother or sister. Or, like how does one Asian girl and a guy walking together look like they're siblings? Like, I don't think it's about what other people are assuming. Like if you're in love with someone, you're in love with someone, that's your relationship. There you go. Seriously, if you like don't think that white people are related when they're dating, like why would you think that Asian people are related? I think that's so stupid. I think it's one thing like to not want to date because it makes you look culturally isolated or something, but to just say you look like brother and sister, that's like a dumb reason. Me and my girlfriend, I mean we definitely don't look like brothers and sisters, but like a hot couple. <laughs> so you definitely know they getting it on. Yeah. Do you agree that there's a disparity between uh, more Asian women saying statements like this than Asian men? Not me personally, but like in general, Asian girls don't want to date Asian guys rather than Asian guys wanting to date white girls. Now I feel like because there are more Asian immigrants, people want to feel more Americanized. Asian guys don't complain about anything. You don't see a lot of Asian dudes kind of coming out of the comfort zone and see, like doing something different. Some women don't like being respected, like actually being treated the right way. So I feel like girls come in with kind of like their ideal man and then Guys are just kind of like girls. Pretty much, definitely one of the one of them is sexual for sure. Yeah, I think girls go into it a little superficial. Like they're looking for all like the lovey-dovey honeymoon type of. Sh like, that ain't me. Well, I feel like Asian guys are like pretty shy. Yeah, stereotypically pretty shy compared to like white guys, guys of other races. I lived in China for a while, and basically when I was there, it's like. The girls are into like more feminine guys, and then here it's like completely opposite standard. Like they're into like muscular, jockey type guys, like you're saying. And so I feel like that's also definitely a part of it. I think it has a lot to do with how media portrays Asian women and Asian men. Asian women are oftentimes more portrayed in a positive light than like Asian men are in movies. Uh -huh. Asian men can stick back to the Asian woman too. I mean, like you know, what? I don't want Asian girls. You know, I want a sexy, beautiful Latina woman. And that's like what I'm he all has. About. What are some things that Asian men can do? to kind of up their game. Let down some of your walls and masculinity. It all starts with the haircut and how you look and like how you perceive confidence and everything. Um, in terms of Indian guys, if you look around, there's a lot of them that have a big beard. They wear jeans that are too big, running shoes or sandals. I see this a lot like when I walk around campus, there's like a big mix between like American eyes. Like look what I'm wearing, like this versus like what someone else is Well, you're like a J. Crew Indian guy. Like, don't smell, yeah, things don't like that. Smell. Wear deodorant, I don't smell. It's the hard, it's okay. like, yeah. It, okay. Yeah, cut your hair properly. I just leave it at that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Attraction is always ends up being surface level. If a guy continues to pursue, then that becomes more attractive. But if he's ugly, then he's creepy, right? Not necessarily. Okay, no. If you're, he's you're, like, okay, you're well intentioned, okay. yeah. Owning up to your culture and being proud of it. Don't play video games all day. Like don't don't stay in and playing League of Legends. Just go to the gym. You just gotta chill out and also just be spontaneous. Like. Can you, can you do something spontaneous right now, man? Yeah, I got you. Yeet. I don't know. <laughs>
Don't hold on to the Asian guy identity. You just be yourself, be comfortable with who you are. I think the right person that's gonna come to you. I feel like we need to get rid of the glasses. It gets more nerdy look, you know, like media portrays us. Did you get rid of your glasses? I did. They're in my pocket right now, actually. <laughs> Yo, yeah. you took them off for the video. You're like, hold up. <laughs> okay, so your friend over here is wearing glasses. Yeah. You're playing one spot here. What, I, what, what do you, you got to say? <laughs> I'll take them off. You, you don't have to appeal to everyone. So you don't have to change yourself the whole, the whole mile. Dress better. Presentability, you know, it's like, like she said, it's how you, how you present yourself, like, if you judge your presentability right now. Uh, I just went to class, not trying to step out looking all fly. Um, honestly, I think being presentable all the time helps a lot. Cause there's this girl in my, one of my classes, I think it's really pretty, but I, I only dress nice in those classes when I see her. Do you talk to her? No. Yo. Bro, come on! All right, Derek here is going to approach that girl in his 9 a.m. calculus class. I'm putting you on camera right now. I'm calling you out. This is making it in the video. What do you guys think about that preference turning into prejudice potentially based on people's like personal experiences like whether like it was the environment they grew up in like for me like i grew up in a very white area i kind of see myself being in a relationship with like white people and so like i guess in that case it's a preference but then it becomes a prejudice when you completely disregard like a person's personality trait like how they interact with people and stuff like that just from the people that I've seen that are very vocal about their preferences, I, I think I could be like, uh, yo, you're also low-key kind of racist. That could just be a judgment on my part. The preference thing I don't really think would make you a racist. I would look more to see how they act in other social scenarios. This would be a correlation, not causation thing, I think. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching that video. But I have about three major takeaways. My first takeaway is that yes, it does seem like that Asian women do have the no Asian policy more often than Asian guys, but for a number of factors. My second takeaway is definitely that no matter what your intentions are, whether right or wrong or non-malicious, if you write off an entire ethnicity, especially if you're talking to that ethnicity. And my third takeaway is that even though we have definitely covered this topic before, things are definitely looking better as media representation increases. So definitely go support your pro-Asian media. And big shout out to East Me East, the number one Asian dating site for making this video happen. They have just reached over half of a million members. And they just launched their worldwide live streaming service so that Asians from all over the world, whether Europe, Australia, or North America are on it. And you can see them do all types of things. With, and you don't even have to be looking for a date to join in on the fun. It's also for non-single people as well. So definitely check it out at the link in the description box down below. And one last thing I wanna say before I go, but at the end of the day, People can date and marry whoever they want, and it is not right for anybody to harass them online or in person because that's just not the right thing to do. It's completely wrong, and also, it's just not going to lead you to go live a good life. All right, everybody, thanks for listening, and until next time, I'm out. Peace. I personally said I would never, never date a Mexican person, and now I'm in a relationship for three years with a beautiful Mexican girl. No, some Spanish? Go ahead and say something. Hola, que tal? Uh, yo comí tacos y burritos.